Today, we will tell you the story of a saint who is known for her fine work as an illustrator and painter. It's none other than St. Catherine of Bologna. St. Catherine had incredible artistic talents. She used these talents to further her understanding of God and to spread the news of his truth and love for all. St. Catherine of Bologna was an Italian nun and artist born as Catherine de Vigri on September 8, 1413 in Bologna, Italy. Her father was an important government official who worked for the Marquis of Ferrara, a member of the royal family. Catherine charmed everyone with her beauty and purity and she was soon noticed by the Marquis himself. At the age of 11, she was appointed maid of honor to the daughter of the Marquis, Princess Margarita. Catherine and the princess took classes together. At the time, the city of Ferrara was becoming a cultural center, providing the young girls with an excellent education in music, literature, painting, and dancing. Catherine particularly excelled at miniature painting, Latin, and playing the viola. She discovered that God had blessed her with a talent for drawing. People admired her wisdom and insight with which she read works of the fathers of the church. During her years in the palace, Catherine also discovered that God was calling her to a more simple and prayerful life. When Margarita became engaged, she invited Catherine to stay with her. But Catherine felt called to the religious life, and at the age of 14, she joined a Franciscan community. Catherine wanted to live a life of perfection, and her companions admired her for her holiness. Soon, the women decided to join an order of nuns called the Poor Clares. These nuns turned away from anything that kept them from focusing on God. They had no personal possessions and shared everything. The Poor Clares lived in silence much of the time so that they could listen and talk to God in the quiet of their hearts without distractions. The sisters of the convent had an excellent reputation for holiness and austerity. As a sister, Catherine did her part for the community by performing more mundane tasks, laundry, baking, and other housework. One day, just as she had placed the loaves in the oven, the bell called her to the choir for religious service. She made the sign of the cross over the loaves and said, I commend you to our Lord. She was not in a position to return to the bakery until five hours later, and certainly believed that everything had been burnt by that time. However, when she removed the loaves from the oven, they were nicer than ever. She also served as a caretaker for the animals but her humility did not stop her spiritual and creative genius. Eventually, Catherine was named superior of the convent and went on to found a second community of poor Clares. Her reputation for holiness drew many young women to the poor Clare life. Catherine began to have visions of Christ and Satan and wrote her experiences down. Her most remarkable vision was on Christmas Eve, when she claimed that Mary appeared to her with baby Jesus, and that Mary even let Catherine hold him. She was a gifted spiritual writer, authoring many treaties, lauds, and sermons. She even copied her own breviary, with her artistic heart, she also drew religious imagery in her writings. 
Her best known work is Seven Spiritual Weapons Necessary for Spiritual Warfare. For a long time, she found herself troubled with the temptation to sleep during the spiritual exercises. Once, when she was again heroically struggling against it during the Holy Mass, God Almighty permitted her to hear the angelic choir singing after the elevation. From then on, the temptation was overcome, and she was even able to devote hours to prayer during the night. Although she was sickly from the time that she was 22, she never complained. St. Catherine was particularly tactful in preserving peace within herself and peace among the members of her community. Hence, she was also loved by all of them. In 1463, at age 49, she became gravely ill and died within a few months. Her body which had been the temple of so chaste and immaculately pure a soul, diffused a sweet odor that could be noticed throughout the region. Miraculous cures began to occur at St. Catherine's gravesite, as even the incurable were instantly healed. She had been buried without a coffin, as were all those who died in her order. But her body was exhumed 18 days later when a heavenly perfume was noticed to come from the area. The body of St. Catherine, which remains incorrupt, is preserved in the chapel of the Poor Clares at Bologna. St. Catherine was canonized by Pope Benedict XIII. Her feast is kept on the 9th of March. Despite the opportunity to live a noble life at court, St. Catherine eagerly responded to her call to lead the religious life. Her piety, charity, and kindness attracted many to follow her along the road to perfection. The beauty of her life and death encourages us to resolve to live in perfect charity as a Lenten goal. Dear saintly poor Claire, Saint Catherine of Bologna, so rich in love for Jesus and Mary, you were endowed with great talents by God, and you left us most inspiring writings and paintings for wondrous beauty. You did all for God's greater glory, and in this you are a model for all. Make artists learn lessons from you and use their talents to the full. St. Catherine, pray for us and all who invoke thy aid. Amen.